listeners and subscribers hope all is well all right today we're gonna be talking about vaccines right the shot right the dreaded shot you're all good if you just just take the shot just take the shot and you're all good all right uh, this ties into something much more nefarious all right if they can force you to take the shot they can force you to take the mark if they can keep you out of an area because you don't have the shot they can keep you out of an area uh, because you don't have the mark okay so declaring a state of emergency as we saw in new york over this measles outbreak uh, we hear that again you know state of emergency over vaccines this time it's only a matter of time before you or i are banned from certain places right if you don't have a travel id there's already certain buildings you can't enter flights you can't take uh, we'll want this regulation we wanted this regulation to fight against terrorists when it comes to you know like the travel id and with with vaccines they they help keep you safe we're going to want these rec uh, regulations as well all right and it, it's easily to translate you can easily translate that if you don't have this it, it's ipso facto right um if you don't have this uh vaccine you can't be here if you don't have this chip if you don't have this mark you can't be there okay and if the government has been implicated in exposing citizens to syphilis and other std experiments uh, then i wouldn't rule them out having something to do with this topic as well. Okay, we saw that with Tuskegee uh, and, and Guatemalan STD experiments. And I, I wouldn't rule that out here. I know they've even been implicated in, you know, something with, with I think it was AIDS or HIV, right? So well, we're not going to go there. But if they're willing to do that and they have classified nefarious, dubious things like, you know, readiness exercise 1984 and, and all the Jade Helms and stuff out there, I don't put it past factions of the government or military intelligence agencies pick your poison to have some kind of vested interest in um, vaccinations I, it, maybe it's to call the public maybe it's to keep them more docile you know there are many different thought processes out there i'm just letting you know that i am aware of that all right now unfortunately the uh, video before the last one I uploaded, I don't think that one is going to get very much response or very many views. Okay, I, I said some, um, some words that probably triggered some algorithms. I didn't tiptoe around the subject enough. I thought I was discreet. <laughs> I thought, I thought I had, um, circumvented some of those algorithms, some of the suppression that comes from the systems when you say certain things you're not supposed to and go against the, the mainstream model. But I guess that's not the case, okay? So that video flatlined. So today we're going to be talking about vaccines and what happened with the uh, the um, Rockland County out there in New York, okay? Unvaccinated children are banned from public spaces amid measles outbreak in New York suburb. And this uh, article goes on to detail. Um, this is from the Washington Post. It says, we'll just we'll just read it here. It goes on to detail wh uh, what this is really about. So a county in New York has banned unvaccinated children from all public spaces as the state battles its largest measles outbreak in decades. Officials in Rockland County declared a state of emergency Tuesday, announcing that the ban would break, uh, begin at midnight and remain for in place for 30 days or until unvaccinated minors received the measles, mum, and rubella vaccine. Uh, officials said unvaccinated minors will not be permitted in public places such as churches, schools, and shopping centers, uh, though outdoor spaces such as uh, spaces such as playgrounds are not included in the ban. We must not allow this outbreak to continue, County Executive Ed Day said at a news conference. We will not sit idly by while children in our community are at risk. The announcement comes as measles outbreaks have hit pockets of New York, California, Illinois, Texas, and Washington. And there's also been vestiges of it here in Phoenix. This is what is being put out there. Okay, I know there's other underpinnings there, and I, I don't want to get into that for now. So just continuing on. In Rockland County, about 40 miles from Manhattan, there have been more than 150 confirmed cases, according to local health officials. More than 180 cases have been confirmed in New York City. More than 82% of the measles patients had not received a single dose of the MMR vaccine, health officials said. The data shows that the largest number of cases, 46%, were seen in children ages 4 to 18, and 39% of them were children younger than 3. A day, the Rockland County executive said authorities will not be searching for children who are not vaccinated, but are expecting parents and legal guardians to get their children vaccinated. So they're not searching yet, but we'll see. Right. However, he said parents and guardians who are found to be in violation will be held accountable and their cases will be referred to the district attorney's office. Such a violation will be considered a misdemeanor punishable by a $500 fine or up to six months in jail. So now we're literally talking about, you know, people said it was conspiracy theory that you could be fined or go to jail for not vaccinating your children. And it's literally coming to be conspiracy fact, right? So you guys out there who are so quick to, to, determine that something is true or false, you know, based on just cursory data, 
I, I, and again, a lot of times I say a lot of this stuff is just cursory stuff. All you have to do is look into it to see, you know, underpinnings of uh, nefarious or, or sinister intentions. And that's true. Uh, but a lot of you, when it's, you're getting, you're consuming your information from mainstream news sources, and it doesn't matter where, whether you, where you're getting it from, because it's, it's hard to discern fact from fiction, whether it's a mainstream source or an alternative source, which is why you should be discerning every bit of information that comes in or to your sphere of influence, or at least d discern the information if you're going to act on it and you're going to, you know, advocate for something, become an advocate or an activist or something. Okay. It's important to pay attention to these things. I'm going to go ahead and leave this article alone for now. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can check out the rest on your own time. You get the point and you've probably heard, you know, news reports on this. This heard the KCRA, you know, Instagram post out there in Sacramento saying, you know, should unvaccinated children be banned from public places? So it starts this conversation. You start to see the, the shift in how the conversation is approached. They, they're changing their tactic, right? Rather than outright um, infringing on free speech, which, which they do plenty of anyway, they, they control the narrative of the conversation. They control where the conversation goes. So when people go to talk about something like this, the only areas they can touch on are divisive areas. There's nothing in the middle ground. I've talked about it before. You know, we can't have a conversation about this stuff anymore. If Even if you look in some of these posts here on the side, you can see how vitreous this, this topic is right it's just like immigration it's just like guns everything is getting so heated you can't talk about it you only fight about it now that's just what i was talking about with you know the republican gop leaders and, and those talking heads in the media saying hey we should try to get an apology from democrats for you know the rhetoric surrounding the Mueller probe as if it was going to come out that you know donald trump was this russian operative right uh, something they're never going to get, an apology from Democrats, they're going to pine for it, then they're going to get their, their base upset, you know, get them rallying for it, something they're never going to get. It's just going to be something to fight about. It's, it's, it's perpetual, okay? And that's what we're seeing here. And like I said, with these vaccines, these have nefarious undertones because if they can, you know, say you can't be here if you don't have the shot, or if they say that you, you can go to jail or have a fine if you don't get this shot, it, the same thing applies for the chip, the same thing applies for the mark of the beast. I hope you see these underpinnings here. You know, the argument isn't even whether vaccines are, are, are effective or not. We, you know, a lot of people are talking about the safety of this stuff, the, the health implications of these things, okay? And if you're one of those people out there who think benefits outweigh the risks, that's fine. You know, there are people out there who think the, the risks outweigh the benefits. Uh, it goes both ways. And those debates out there, they're healthy, okay? We, we, we have free speech, that's fine. But when you start to shut that stuff down and when you no longer can have conversations, uh, that's when things get dangerous. And that's where that's really what we start to see uh, being pushed here is we can't have a conversation about it. Uh, we just have to espouse what we believe. And, you know, no middle ground, no nothing. All right. You have to understand this is this is going to get crazier and crazier and they're going to continue to have this push. And they're saying that anti-vaxxers are hate speech. You know what I mean? They, they represent hate. In a lot of cases, we're just talking about uh, parents whose children were either injured or died with vaccines. And they're just, they're just saying, hey, there's other evidence out here suggesting otherwise from what the mainstream is pushing. Okay. And as with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because I can talk about this all day. Uh, maybe I'll do some full length content, you know, 20 minutes where I'm just rambling on like I am now. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. You could have been anywhere else. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you like the content, California Carter signing off. Thank you.